Maggie, of course, she's been very she's friendly. He's living, he's living our dream, <laughs> aren't you? I thought I'd show you this plate as well. folks how are we all i hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel and to a weekend vlog it's such a beautiful gorgeous day in london the skies i haven't seen them this blue in quite some time which just means spring spring is nearly here folks i mean it feels like spring really has bloomed in london which is just a joy with everything that's going on it's just nice to see some life it feels like with the turn of a season I just get this like energy back that I feel like I lose sometimes in the bleak winter months. So yeah, feeling good. Um, so today is a Saturday. We haven't really got much on this weekend. Zara's mum's actually in town. She came up from Plymouth, her um, family home, because Zara bought her mum uh, West End tickets to see Dirty Dancing for her birthday, which was in January. So uh, she's came up to spend the weekend with us. Obviously last weekend we had my mum here for her birthday. So this is a belated birthday celebration with Zara's mum. Um, I'm going this evening as well. So we're all going to see Dirty Dance and have a little bit of food. Which is going to be lovely. But um, they've just gone out to have a bit of a bit of a girly day today in town. So they're going to do some shopping and just have some cocktails and that kind of thing. So it's just me and Mags. <laughs> who's currently catching some rays on the floor. Aren't you Maggie? Maggie. What? <laughs> <laughs> you catching them rears? Yeah, you are. Uh, my friend Sam's just messaged me. Said he's got no plans and he lives super close. So we're gonna we're gonna go for a walk. Me and Maggie to meet Sam and get a little coffee. Um, I actually need to get a wiggle on. It takes about half an hour to walk there. So just made myself a big old smoothie just to get the goodness into me. I feel like my skin and everything is just starting to get so much better. Thank you all so much for all of your love and comments on my previous video where I did the Q&A. There was just so much support, um, not only just about the house, but just just about, just just in general. It was just a really lovely, lovely response from you guys. And um, yeah, I'm glad I'm feeling better health-wise, which is always good. So I'm gonna get my smoothie down me and get my vitamin D. I need my sunglasses. I might not even take a jacket. Alexa, what's the weather like today? In London. It's nine degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. That works. That works for me. Maggie, come on. Come on. <laughs> she acts as if she doesn't enjoy walking, but then when she's out, she loves it. Come on. Put your hands on. There we are. <laughs> Someone's a bit sleepy this morning, aren't they? You've been sleeping all morning. There we go. It's white those sleepies. Good girl. Right. Well, let's go for a walk. I honestly kind of got over how beautiful the weather is, the birds tweeting. It genuinely feels like a spring morning, it's gorgeous. I'm in the best mood. I'm on time to meet Sam as well, so I'm not going to be too late. <laughs> Right, Sam's just very very kindly got the coffees and a little um, arm yeah, across. Maggie, get down, Maggie. <laughs> of course, she's been very she's friendly because she's in croissants. Get down, get down. All over your nice white t-shirt. Oh, Sorry, <laughs> Maggie, get down, get Good down, girl, sit. get down. Sit. Good girl. Sit. We're gonna enjoy these in the sunshine. Look at that weather. Oh my god. Right, we just finished up coffee. That was what was that called again? I completely forgot the name. Blue bird. Blue bird. Blue, blue, blue apple. Blue apple. Blue apple in um, in Ballam, southwest. Very lovely. Oh, I just doing a tinkle. <laughs> Good girl. Um, such a beautiful day, and Sam has the most gorgeous home. Um, and it has yeah. yours is nicer. No, you've got a bloody balcony and a garden. So we're going to go back there and have a little, little afternoon. Um, so I was going to say a drink, but we had three bottles of wine yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I'm having a glass of wine. Oh, there we go. I might have a coffee. Keep me awake, yeah. and then um, just a little catch up, and then I'll be heading back. Zara and her mum, and then heading into town. It's very nice. Very nice Saturday. Sat on Sam's balcony. It's a whole house. It's living. He's living our dream, <laughs> aren't you? You're living our dream. It's very oh, this, nice. Uh, this sun is scorching, and because this balcony is south facing, it's like basically south east facing, uh, southwest facing. You can get you get sun. The sun sets like over there all day, right? You just get it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. So you get the sun set. It's beautiful. So um, Maggie's up here too, and she's all grand, aren't you, little one? Look at you. There we are. Sit. Sit down. Sit. Yeah, it's fab. She's just we taken in the rears. We have actually got a little basket 
that I lower over the edge for delivery. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. I love, she's just taking in the sun. Hello everyone, that's why I can now say hi. This is Alex Tealy, she's fantastic. I'll leave a link down below. She's well, and this is Sam Chris, always ready for you. <laughs> When it wasn't posing, smiles. you know, I'm always camera ready. Seems and lovely. by now, I do feel I'm a veteran of the channel. Um, I've been there for the past <laughs> few years. Um, yeah, Go but on, the wine please. is flowing. Yeah, Welcome cool. to Casa Sangre style. We're on the wine terrace currently, and we will move down to somewhere else later on for a little dinner and a light like, aperitif. A better dinner. Oh. You know? Sounds like I finally got to meet the dog. Got the invitation. Got told that the dog was here, and I've never put my eyebrows on quicker in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and here she is. She's making her rounds. She's making her rounds. Okay, so I'm back from having coffee at Sam's. It's been so nice. I feel like I've actually caught the sun today, which is lovely. Um, Zara and her mum are back, so I've just had a super quick change and we're heading out. Uh, I've gone for a two piece like a cord this evening, so uh, straight. You can't really see it. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it's kind of like striped, just with a basic white t shirt underneath, and my new trainers that I got when I went shopping with Ewan and Selfridges. <laughs> they're having their first out and, and they're very comfortable. We're off to ZZ's actually, which I'm so excited about because I haven't been to ZZ's in the longest time. I haven't seen them maybe some pasta. So yeah, I'll catch you when we're in town. So, today is Sunday, and I completely forgot that I was actually A, vlogging, and B, hadn't actually updated... <laughs> sorry, we're, we're in Hyde Park, hadn't actually updated the vlog since last night. We went to Dirty Dancing, I'm not gonna lie, it was good, it was very good. I would, we said this last night, I wouldn't say it was top five. It wasn't the best thing we've seen. No, and you know, you're always gonna get that with West End, there's gonna yes. be ones that are... Come on Maggie, there's ones that are amazing, and ones that... We're good, but you probably wouldn't like rush back to see it again. I think once you've seen Dirty Dancing, you've pretty much seen it. It was it was good. I think if you're a fan of the film, you'd love it. But if you've never seen the film, probably don't go because it was pretty much what's that word? It begins with a V. Ver verbatim. I don't know. It, like transcribed from the film script to theatre. It was like word for word. Anyway, um, it was good, and we had some lovely food, and we went out for brunch this morning. We've just popped Zara's man back on the train. <whistles> Maggie, Maggie, this way. Come on. And now we're in Hyde Park, just stretching Maggie's legs before we head home and just chill for the rest of the day because it's a gorgeous day. But we've been up since what time? 6 a.m. again. 6 a.m. Same, same as yesterday. We don't have weekends anymore. Lions I aren't. I kind of like it. Like in the winter, I don't enjoy it so much. But in the summer, I feel like yeah. we're getting the most out of the day. We do. And look at Where the weather. She's there, she's just behind. The weather's gorgeous, it's so nice. Maggie, come um, on. So yeah, we're just walking through Hyde Park. It's very lovely. Just over there is where the Serpentine Galleries are. And um, yeah, Maggie's just. It, it is a royal park, so. But anyway. So we're back in town. It's a little bit later on. It's quarter past six, and I'm not gonna lie. I think do you know what? it's just been it's been lovely, but we've done we haven't done a lot, but just lots of walking and that kind of thing. Um, I just feel a bit. I felt a bit tired. So just been literally just slouched on the sofa. Maggie has been white out. She's been so sleepy. I don't think I've seen her sleep that much in ages. She's just been sleeping constantly. Anyway, I'm um, sorry the washer's on. So we're gonna make dinner this evening, and we had, um, well we're gonna we had sausages in the freezer. So I was like, why don't we do like a sausage pasta bake? But now I come to think about it, not really that bothered about having the sausages. So we'll keep those in the freezer. And um, we had some rigatoni. We can nipped into the supermarket and got some sweet chili Philadelphia. So we're gonna do like a creamy, uh, like a creamy spicy pasta bake with tomato and um, garlic bread. Um, and then, w well, that probably will take us up to nine-ish, nine o'clock, nine because Peaky Blinders is on tonight. Very excited. Let me know if you're watching Peaky Blinders. It's so good. And we've also started Killing Eve, which is also brilliant. So it's a lot. It's a lot of like intense drama, isn't it? Yeah, and I feel like we're so behind. On oh my gosh, yeah, Killing Eve, there's like Three? Four seasons? Oh, no, it's been out forever. Yeah, it's been out a while. So anyway, we're going to make dinner, and then um, Maggie needs her dinner. Don't you need some food? Whenever we mention the F word, which is not the F word, food. <gasps> Do you want some food? And we touch her ball, she gets awfully excited. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner's in the 
oven and we've just lit a, uh, this is a bath and body works candle, it's hibiscus waterfalls, it's very nice, it's a triple burner, this was in Zara's bedroom, we're not running low on candles but we've definitely used quite a few. I feel like we don't really burn candles a lot during, I kind of say the minute things start to get warmer, candles just obviously they don't really give off that much heat but it's still just something we never really do in summer but we fly through candles in autumn winter because any heat that we can get in this flat is always good anyway dinner's gonna be about half an hour so we're gonna watch an episode of killing eve ready for peaky blinders oh my gosh I just popped downstairs as well and um, they very kindly took in a delivery while we were out this has been sent over from the botanist gin and it's a nio exclusive cocktail um like a crafted cocktail box no, I really enjoy the botanist gin. It's probably up there with like my top, I'd say like my top five gins. I really love the botanist gin. I really like Ophia or Opia gin, which is like an oriental gin. Love Sipsmith gin, love Edinburgh gin. I love gin. I do love gin. <laughs> Let me know if you ever want a video of like my top five foods, gins, recipe books, that kind of thing, that might be good. Anyway, um, oh, this looks really cool. Ah, so this is kind of like the concept. So you just get the little cocktails, you shake them up and then just pour them straight in your glass. I might have one of these. Needs only ice. Actually don't know if we have any ice. <laughs> a botanist martini. And then we have a progressive old fashioned. And then botanist's choice. Maybe we'll have one of those tomorrow evening. So cool, very, very impressed with those. Dinner is served. Oh my God, it's like you can hear it bubbling. Whenever you add mozzarella to a pasta bake, it just goes so stringy and so crispy, and it's just a dish. Oh, yeah. Good morning, folks. Happy Monday. I thought I'd continue the vlog on today because I genuinely don't feel like I've picked up the camera <laughs> in like a cohesive manner. It's always the way when um, family visit. It's so lovely when family come and stay, but because obviously we live, well, you know, me and Zara are kind of pretty much equal distance away from our family. We're in London. Zara's family live in Plymouth. They're about four, four and a half hour drive. Similarly, I'm about a five hour drive. <laughs> London's kind of like the midpoint. So whenever they come and visit, we really just try and take the time to like, you know, put some holiday time in at work. And I know I vlog and stuff. It doesn't really feel like work, but just actually spend some quality time with them, which has just been so lovely. It is like a catching up day. So I thought I'd vlog as well. I'm going to literally just go and turn my computer on. Went to the gym this morning and my legs are already hurting. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a very, it, I use Mondays as my get myself an order days and then just get cracking up with some work. I have a lot of food videos to edit. If you've noticed the food videos have been a bit quiet on YouTube, I'm trying to focus more on doing really quick short burst videos on Instagram. Obviously I'm only a one man band. So it's really hard to kind of distribute between YouTube and Instagram. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle on the screen and you can go and check out the bits that have been popping up on there. Let me know which one you prefer, Instagram or YouTube or TikTok. TikTok's kind of like massive. I know it's a bit hit and miss for a lot of people. Anyway, I'm waffling. I was at my computer for slightly longer than I would have liked. It's just gone quarter past 12. So I thought as it is approaching lunchtime, I'd I said, well, I'm gonna do a bit of bacon. <laughs> um, I bought the ingredients last week to make a uh, salted caramel cheesecake, but never actually got around to making it because just things got busy the weekend. So I'm gonna start making that now. It's relatively straightforward. So let me get the ingredients and talk you through what we're gonna do. So this is the ingredients, relatively simple. We've got some digestives. I'm gonna bash those up with some salted butter. I prefer salted butter on my toast. That's a bit weird, but I feel like the saltiness just works deliciously. And obviously this is salted caramel, so. It works. Um, so yeah, you could use caramel digestives if you prefer. And then we've got two tubs of full fat mascarpone. It has to be full fat, otherwise you kind of struggle to get the cheesecake to set. I have a can of condensed milk and then um, obviously stir through some whipped double cream. Fold all that together, top the cheesecake, and then add some salt on top for a lovely salted caramel finish. <laughs> Okay, so just briefly pause to have some lunch and the cheesecake's in the fridge. I had yesterday's leftovers for lunch and this is the cheesecake. It's looking so good. I usually leave my cheesecakes to chill overnight, but it's been in there for about three hours, so I'm gonna leave that till at least this evening. Anyway, now I'm gonna make myself a quick coffee and I'm gonna have a hot crust bun because we bought some hot crust buns from Waitrose actually, but we didn't get around to eating them all, so I put them in the freezer. So I'm gonna have a quick coffee and hot crust bun and get cracking on with an edit. I think I'm gonna edit, I made a ragu last week, which is really good, it's like a veggie mushroom ragu, and then I made arancini balls, so I'm gonna edit those. <laughs> I'm not actually sure 
showed you my new coffee machine. So basically my mum's coffee machine at home actually broke. So I uh, gave her the one that I had just as a replacement. Um, it was a job I did with Hotel Chocolat and she really liked the smaller pods. But I missed this machine. I used to have one a couple of years back, but I replaced it for the smaller pods just because I thought it would have been better to get them from supermarkets and that kind of thing. This machine I'll show you takes the larger pods. These, are, This is the virtual machine. So it's those larger ones there. I'll just drops to the back. <laughs> um, but they are fully recyclable. They're a little bit more expensive. Uh, these ones here, we just pop them in a little coffee pot jar. But yeah, I picked this one up on Facebook Marketplace. It was advertised from a really nice guy and he included two sleeves. It was £45, I think it was. They retail for about 150 But obviously I still absolutely love my big machine. This is the Sage Barista Express. I talk about this loads. I've had it for years. It's like my pride and joy. I absolutely love it. But this one takes a little bit more time to make a coffee. Whereas on a morning when I'm quickly heading out the door from catching a train, going to the gym, just about to walk Maggie, this one is fab because it just, you pop a pot in and it makes it and it's great. Anyway, just got my hot cross bun toasting in there. I thought I'd show you this plate as well. I picked these up from TK Maxx last week. I was shooting a photography job, like a food job, and um, the theme was colour. <laughs> so I picked these up. They're actually from, I think they're from... Tunisia made, let's have a look. Yeah, made in Tunisia. And they were $5.99 each, and I just really loved them. We don't really have much colorful things, and we're trying to introduce more color into like our crockery, hence why Zara picked up these mugs. This I actually got from a John Lewis press day a couple of weeks back. It's like a nice little tea bag holder uh, from Eleanor Baumer. That's the name, I should really take that off. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just nice to pop your tea bags on. But yeah, I thought they were really cool for $5.99 each. So I'm just gonna put my hot cross bun on it. Let's check it. Hot cross buns have a tendency to burn, which I nearly, I've nearly just done with this one. Let me get that out. Wonderful. Bit of butter on that, and that'll be job's good. And this is usually when Maggie wakes up from her afternoon nap to come and see what snack I've got. <laughs> Zara's on her way home from work and she's asked if she can walk Maggie. I actually really miss Zara working from home, I'm not gonna lie. For another reason, it's just nice to obviously sit and talk to someone during the day. Obviously she'd work in the living room or her bedroom and I work in here. It's just nice, like we shared lunches together, we'd walk Maggie together, but obviously this new job kinda need her to be in for training for the first, I think it's like a couple of months, so yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I miss her, but obviously we catch up on an evening. And it's just really nice, isn't it? It's just us two, just me and the little one. <laughs> um, but obviously I'm super proud of how well she's doing in her job and she's just, the sky's the limit, Zara. She inspires me every day. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling, eat my coffee, eat my hot cross bun and drink my coffee. I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up because not really much else is happening to be honest, guys. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been, I feel like it's been a bit disjointed. So um, I just thought I'd vlog anyway because it's always nice to check in with you all. Let me know how you're all doing. Yeah, just leave a comment and I, I love having a conversation with you all. My camera battery is flashing, so lots of love. Take care. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.